It's the slave one. Oh, the slave one. I hate you. I hate you. Oh. <laughs> Used to be a slave. Well, greetings and hello there, everybody. It's me, your beloved Star Wars dad, Nooch Too Good, and we all enjoy playing with our toys, don't we? And Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes is essentially a toy collector. We're collecting toys of all of our favorite characters. We're playing with them. A side note, if you want to see and hear this entire uh, play session with myself and my toys, I'm going to put it after the credits. So stay tuned after the credits to just actually hear what all is going on here with me and all the uh, the Star Wars heads and uh, have a... I, I did have some fun. It was actually some fun. But today we're talking about Galaxy of Heroes. So let's jump over to a different screen where we can actually watch me play with my toys. I'm going to talk about my top 10 teams. You guys are always asking, what are my favorite teams? What's your favorite team? What's your favorite team? What's your favorite team in the game? Well, let's talk about my top 10 favorite teams in the game. And kind of not in really any particular order. I was supposed to actually hide that here. I thought I had to hit that. Let's, let's, uh, let's hide the playing with toys part. Yes, there we go. We're going to play the video, but I promise you, after the credits, tune in. We'll have the whole thing, audio and everything. You'll get to hear it. So let's start out at number 10. I'm going to go through and so something interesting on these. Where the, there we go. Um, I'm actually going to go through and show footage. We're not going to go through the uh, the game right now. We're going to go. I'm just going to find footage of me playing with all these characters. So number 10 for me is Wampa. Now, Wampa, I think, is really important to every roster, especially early rosters. Wampa is a one way a, a character, one character. That is a full team in Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. Savage Press is very similar. You get these characters, especially early on in Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes, especially free to play. You can use Wampa and Savage Press to beat a lot of teams out there. And they're really great. And they lift you up early on, maybe even through the mid game. Here's the thing. And, and I, I really love Wampa. I think Wampa is a great character. Also gets you to Jedi, Ma Jedi Knight Luke, which gets you to Jabba, which gets you to Jedi Master Luke, and pretty much kind of gets you to Leia. But at this point in the game where I am playing Kyber on Bond 2 accounts, Wampa is just a plug-in against either Grievous or Iden Versio, like you see here, or uh, or Mon Mothma. And that's pretty much it at those levels. And then when you get up to Kyber 1 or higher levels of Kyber 1, my understanding is there's a lot of anti-Wampa teams. You really don't use Wampa very often at all. So I love Wampa. I think she's great. I think she's important to have on the roster, not only as an early early team in Grand Arena, uh, Savage Press kind of similar, but just kind of the fun fades a little bit over time for me with Wampa, just because it's just plug and play against very specific teams and, and just kind of loses its magic a little bit. But I still love Wampa, number 10. Let's keep going forward. Okay, coming in at number 9 is Jedi Master Luke. And we got 3v3. I need to get back to 5v5. I think this is like really like, I think this is two rounds of 3v3 ago, but... Hey, Jedi Master Luke is a new unlock for me. Here you see me using him against Reva and, and Kylo. He's kind of an automatic against Kylo. Maybe not. Yeah, Kylo he's really good against. But what I really found over time is I really love using the... I never remember what this is. I can't, I'm trying to click on this ability. Uh, his special um, over here on the right. I love using that with Yoda. I'll call in Hermit Yoda as an assist. And the boy does a lot of damage. And I kind of discovered that over time. I really enjoy using Jedi Master Luke on offense. Uh, defense, he's kind of out there. And, and even on offense, you got to be careful where you use him. But, I mean, I beat Jedi Master Kenobi 3v3 with him. I've been beating a lot of teams with Jedi Master Luke. And I'm not doing it. I wish I was doing the Hermit Yoda move here because I could discovered that down the road as I used Jedi Master Luke more. Again, he's pretty new to me. I haven't used him a lot, but I am enjoying using Jedi Master Luke. And a lot of you guys who bought the Shadows of the Empire bundle are on your way to Jedi Master Luke or already have Jedi Master Luke. So Jedi Master Luke comes in at number nine. Now dropping in at number eight, another solo team. In this case, it's not a solo team, but this isn't a real team. This was, I think when I first unlocked Captain Rex or I had him left over 3v3. I don't know what I was doing here. Maybe it was all I had left in the game, but um, you know, I love Emphis Nest. Now user is a solo a lot of times, but actually almost exclusively as a solo or maybe I'll have Jedi Knight, or excuse me, Farm Boy Luke out there as a lead for Emphis Nest. What I didn't realize here was that I was going to be doing something really special with this Emphis Nest here. With Boosh Leia as a lead, you can do a lot of really nasty things. I can't remember what the ability is. You know, Emphis Nest already ignores defense on her special, and Savage is all about defense. Without the defense, he ain't all that. He's just kind of a guy. So watch Emphis Nest here. It's going to cut. It's going to be happening fast. It's not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Uh, next ability. So... But what I often use, I'll use Emphis Nest by yourself. By yourself, Farm Boy Luke as a lead, maybe Kira as a lead. But uh, I, 
I don't know. I show this one because it's it's a fun comp. But Emphis Nest comes in at number eight. You buy yourself because of that. <laughs> I'm losing my mind. Hang on. Let's let's see what's going on in the audio right now. Okay, here it is with sound. And as expected, I'm stuck on Savage right now. Let's see if we can get a stun. Oh! 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 <laughs> that just happened! That just happened! Whoa! 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 Oh, doctor! Oh my goodness! Okay, okay. So, you know what? If that's not fun, I don't know what is. I'm here to have fun. We're playing with toys. So coming in at number eight, Emphis Nest. Usually used as a solo, but I think it's one of my, this is one of my favorite moments playing the game. It's just a blast, and she just one shot Savage. So that's awesome. Let's let's keep going forward for my favorite toys in Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. Teams. I apologize. That was number eight. Coming in at number seven is Darth Treya, and this is why I can't. Why can't we find any five v five videos here? I don't know, but anyway, let me. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna find a five v five. I don't like. I'm. Really, this is annoying. Okay, I said that wrong. Uh, so, Emphis Nest was number eight. Coming in at number seven is Darth Treya in all of her incarnations. You know, this is a weird one here. <laughs> this is a really a weird one. I think this was early on when I unlocked Darth Treya on my Nooch 2 Lightspeed account. But I love using Nihilus as well. I was trying to find a 5v5 for you guys. I'm going to keep showing 3v3s all day. So, um, hey, this is Darth Treya out here. I have beaten Jedi Master Luke teams countless times with Darth Vader, like over and over and over again, with all sorts of comps. With Darth Vader in there, with Nihilus and Scion in there. Savage Press is usually a big piece, but here's just Darth Treya with the Sith Empire and and Darth Vader. And yeah, I'm kind of splitting up teams there. If you get later on, at this time in the game though, I think I had Darth Treya Gear 12 with just the Omicron. I didn't really have a lot else to go with her, so I still and I didn't, I didn't have a lot to go with Vader either. So I have found her to be a really effective counter. If if you get a Jedi Master Luke team that's really not modded very well, uh, that's a Relic Nine Jedi Master Luke, by the way. And um, so I, I was able, I've been able to take out a lot of Jedi Master Lukes, um, or at least whittle them down to almost nothing. And just generally speaking, Treya is a counter to a lot of stuff, and, and you can even put her in there with a Nihilus lead that I'm finding here. To beat, I think she beats. If you put the Nihilus lead, she beats Darth uh, Darth Malgus. Which, if you have a Treya lead, you'll never beat Darth Malgus. I'm gonna go all the way to the end of this. I think we're gonna. I think we're gonna win this. Let's take a look. I think yeah, there he is. Oh no! Oh, I had to finish him off with gas. So, so you know, we're not gonna come on gas. But so Darth Treya, yeah, it, it only gets him down to yellow here. I get it. I didn't finish off this Relic Nine one, but I have beaten Jedi Master Leaks before. And just the fact, so sometimes you got a two-shot of Galactic Legend. Sometimes you got a two-shot of Galactic Legend. And just generally speaking, the Treya team, and I'm going to say with Nihilus, is, is is better. When Nihilus is on the team, it's much more fun. With a Nihilus lead, it can be even more fun. But Treya is what makes it work, what makes Nihilus get off his, his uh, Annihilate ASAP. We're going to take a shot here with Vader. Let's see if he land it. Do we get it? Oh, that should have worked. That should have worked, and it didn't work. Oh, my goodness. Oh my goodness! We're gonna hear that. We hear that audio too. Let's let's take a look at that audio. That disappointing audio we just had there. Okay, there we go. Dots. Go! No! Oh, come on! <coughs> Where's all that bonus offense? They can't all be gems. They can't all be gems. Who's number six? Let's take a look. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna say here is number six through the, the next. Five are difficult for me to sort through. Like, I love all these teams so much. And you guys know that for a long time I was a Phoenix uh, naysayer until Captain Rex came out and I was fully converted. And now I believe everybody should farm Phoenix from day one to make their rosters better. Here I am going against Inquisitors. I'm told uh, after I did this one, you can actually, I think you can auto this against Grand Inquisitor and it works just fine. But um, man, the Phoenix are so much fun to play with. Just all. I really like offense. I like smashing stuff. I like taking a lot of turns. I don't like stressful battles like uh, Night Sisters. Like I take a team like Night Sisters, they're always dying and reviving and dying and reviving, and it stresses me out a lot. I like a battle where I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna take all the turns, and <laughs> you're not gonna get any turns, and I'm just gonna smoke you. And that'll probably give you a clue as to some of the other teams that are coming up here that are gonna be some of my favorite teams, but. I really love playing with the Phoenix right now in Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. I'm not sure there's anything more fun in the game right now than just loading these guys up 
watching them take turn after turn after turn and assist after assist and just crushing everything. And it's why when Captain Rex first came out, Arnold made like, spent like two plus weeks of daily videos of Captain Rex. It was really pretty funny and astonishing, but it was always, it was all Captain Rex all the time because he, because he transformed this pile poo team into an absolute end game banger team. And so I love playing with Phoenix. They come in at number six, but again, we got a lot of interchangeable parts here in the top, uh, in, in the next five or so. There's a fleet coming up soon. That's I would, I'd separate the fleet out a little bit, but of all the teams you see so far, except for number, number one is definitely my favorite, but of all the teams you see in between from here to number two so far, except for the one fleet, they're all gonna be fair. I could probably rank them all anywhere from six to, to two, and I'd be perfectly happy uh, it, the ranking is really deal. I want to watch this. We're going to see the end of this here. Let's see if we can listen to while, while I finish this up. Don't say, don't say too much, Nooch. Is it the debuffs that he's recovering? What's he recovering with here? Learned about the Inquisitors. Just go basics, my friend. Just go basics, my friend. Uh, this seems problematic. I'm just saying. How long does this take? Should be done here in a minute. Yeah, I'll be done. Hang on, we're gonna get it, I promise. Basics. What if I just do basics here? Yeah, there you go. Basics. Future Nooch is saying, use basics. Good job, big felt. No basic? There you go, that there did go. it. Drink the tea. We're all good there to go. go. Yes, I love, using, done. I love using the Phoenix. Hey, number five. Okay, uh, don't blink on this one. This is CLS, Chu, uh, Chu, Chupio, and 3PO against Starkiller. CLS comes in at number five. Again, I could have ranked him four, three, two, but I've been perfectly happy here. But just, again, do not blink while watching me take on uh, Starkiller here with CLS. I always get a little questionable about this, and a lot depends on a lot of things, but, um, you know, if you come, this looks like a really slow Mara Jade. Just, I'm just saying. Uh, if you come across, across a slower Mara Jade, this is just an absolute slaughter fest. 5v5, 3v3, whatever. Boys and girls, Make Mara Jade fast today. Mara Jade, if you've got Starkiller, honestly, Mara Jade should be the... Why am I talking about this? Is, this is about CLS, not about Mara Jade. Make Mara Jade your fastest character on the on the roster, aside from GLs, if you've got Starkiller. Just make her really fast. So, yeah, CLS just mowing down Starkiller here. I use CLS all the time in, in every incarnation. I'll use CLS Han and Chewie in the right spot. I'll use CLS 3PO and Chewie. I'll use CLS the full team. I love using CLS. I love CLS. Let, let's pull up the uh, the assault battle. I love taking an undergeared CLS team and getting to an assault battle. I'll be, I'll be right. I'll be right back with that. Well, all right. So this is me going minimum, bare minimum. With uh, which way do I go here? So you'll notice that I'm on the military might assault battle tier three, and you'll notice that Chupio. Oh, I can't my finger. Chupio is gear eleven. Gear eleven. He only goes to eleven. He only goes to eleven. So. Uh, military might assault battle this is my minimum minimum team for this and i've got everybody else relict and i did try to other levels to take it all the way to the end da, 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 da. there it is so a a gear 11 chupio on this team and i was able to go to all the way through tier three of the military might assault battle and get it done i really love the cls team i love it on so many levels it's on, on an account whenever I don't see it on an account. Let's, let's, let's listen here. I think I'm saying something good. Challenge tier three of, of the military might assault battle with a relic two CLS, a relic one Chewbacca, a relic one Han Solo, a relic one 3PO, and a gear 11 Chupio right here. I showed you the mods. I showed you everything. We got this done. I'm going to be back in like an hour. Let me be a little longer. I always talk this much. Let's get it done. Get it done, Nooch. Smash him. We'll see those rewards. Thank you. And challenge tier three completed. Okay, there we go. So I love CLS. If you don't have C the full CLS team, you're really missing out in Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. What was that? That was number five. All right, number four. In keeping with our, I get a bunch of turns. I do a lot of damage. I get all the fun theme of things. Here are my Imperial Troopers coming in at number four and taking out a very weird Darth Malgus team. Now, I don't recommend against a normal Malgus team, obviously, but I mean, this is just an odd, odd team. Malgus, Malak, Bastila, HK, and it, Count Dooku was on the team initially, no longer on the team. Uh, you know, this team will beat like a Darth Revan team straight up. If, if you can outspeed a Darth Revan team, 
you got a really good chance to beat it. Uh, you see Dark Trooper working there on Mal on Malik. The one benefit of Dark Trooper on and by the way, I got I use Biker Scout a lot of times because my Biker Scout is Relic Seven for Leia Organa. My other troopers aren't Relic Seven. It just makes some sense. So, but uh, Dark Trooper has a has a a definite I don't know if advantage is the right word, but a definite positive impact on Malik because he doesn't crit normally. Um, he's j he'll Well, he won't crit a lot of times, so what you'll see is when you use Dark Trooper against Malik, he won't crit and he won't get fear. He can keep going uh, through the battle, but I love Imperial Troopers. You guys watch me play with them all the time. Whether I'm going... Oh, this looks like this is going to be over soon, actually. I'm surprised it's going to be over this quick. Is it really that quick? I'm at, I'm at here now. And we got, uh, wow, less than a minute left in this battle. I can't believe that. So I'll keep talking about Imperial Troopers. So, again, guys, don't field this team. Don't put... We, if you've you got Darth Malgus on your team, you've got to have Darth Revan. And I mean, put Darth Revan on there. Make it a real team. This was not a real team. But my troopers beat a lot of stuff. They will also clean up uh, Galactic Legends. They do a great job of that. They're just a really great team to have on your roster. One of my favorites... And they're really good in a couple of assault battles. They're great in the Endor, es I think it's Endor Escalation and uh, Rebel Roundup. They'll get you to tier three of both of those assault battles if you if you get them modded up right and you do them. And maybe not even this team. You get Range Trooper out there in those assault battles. Does great. I think in the um, in the Rebel Roundup one, you need to have a tank like a short trooper or something done. Maybe that's the EO. I don't know. You, I've, I've shown these teams. But anyway, I love my Imperial Troopers quite a bit. They're going to come in at number four. Hey, number three, let's go take a look at a fleet for number three. If you have watched me stream this game, Grand Arena specifically, I mean Grand Arena. If you have watched me stream Grand Arena, then you have seen me do this counter. The Finalizer versus the Executor. Again, I do realize at higher levels of the game, this is a little more difficult to pull off because of Relic levels. But, I mean, we're talking probably the top 200 players. Otherwise, I have so much success with Finalizer versus Executor, even when it's the uh, even when it's the Finalizer counter team with, with IG out there instead of... I think it's IG instead of... Not Houndstooth, but IG instead of um, Xanadu Blood. Anyway, there's some counter ones out there. I even have success against them. Even, even in the worst case, I'll two-shot it. I should say, worst case, occasionally it's just a fail. Like, you get some bad RNG and things just go badly. But I'll have bad RNG all the time and still be able to beat the executor with the finalizer. I love using the finalizer. I love using the TIE silencer. You know, the, the TIE silencer's ramping damage, for my money, is the most exciting damage ramp in the game. I mean, there's a lot of characters that ramp up damage. Grievous... Uh, first Order Executioner. These are, uh, but Emphis Nest ramps up damage. A lot of characters will ramp up damage in the game. TIE Silencer ramps it fast and furious. And when he kills an ally with, or he kills an enemy with Hunted on them, he gains 25% off, crit damage and offense or something like that. He just starts doing, I mean, I've done 400,000 damage with, with the TIE Silencer toward the end of the battle. After, I mean, let's watch and see how much damage we can get here um, on the, a basic 95, that was a basic for 95,000 on Houndstooth. That's a pretty big deal. And there's another basic for 73,000 assist. Here's a special. Let's see what this one does. Oh, here we go on Houndstooth. 203,000. That's not going to be the most. I guarantee we're, just, we're about to see a bigger hit because every time Ty Silencer gets hit, every time Ty, Ty Silencer attacks an enemy that's got a uh, target lock, every time Ty Silencer uh, uh, eliminates... And a, a, an enemy with hunted tie silencer stacks damage. Let's take a look. There's a basic for 120,000. I just love it. There's a basic. Uh, we didn't get a crit there. You got to make sure you have advantage with that tie silencer. There you go. That wraps it up. I've done 400,000. I promise you it's happened. I love playing with the finalizer against the executor. It's one of my most favorite things to do in the game. All right. Coming in at number two. And we're going to watch a short for this one. Uh, I, I love the Qui-Gon Omicron with Anakin on the team. This was an exciting one. This is this is Qui Gon and Anakin only. Just Qui Gon and Anakin Qui -Gon only. Nobody else is on the team, and uh, it's just a big fat nuke. So let's. So this is only thirty. So let's here. take a look at this. Not really. Okay, Qui Gon's out. Here we go. I don't know if I like this. We'll see. <laughs> when that works. There's nothing prettier in the game. There's nothing more motivating. There's nothing more fun. It's better than Wampa. It's just better than everything. When that, when that, when you pull that off and it flies, it is something super special. I, 
I, that, that's it, man. I, you know, I, everything that, that he just said, everything that Nuke just said, I agree with. I love when you can put Qui-Gon Omicron out there and nuke an entire team like that, whether it's Geos, well, Geos are tougher because the ability blocks get landed, but I mean, uh, I've nuked, I, Sana Staros I nuked recently, the whole team just, just went away. I do it all the time. I've done it against like Revan teams even. I've almost killed Malak on a number of occasions. I think I've actually taken out Malak a few times. When you can pull off an Anakin nuke like that, it is such a beautiful, beautiful thing. And it's one of the most fun things I do in the game. And I really love playing with a Qui-Gon Omicron on offense in Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. Let's move on to my number one team. The team I most love in Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. The team you guys ask me about all the time. Who's your favorite team? Who's your favorite team? Here's my favorite team. I love playing with Supreme Leader Kylo Ren, and I make no bones about it. I can beat Jabba with him when there's no Bush Leia Datacron. I can beat Jabba with Supreme Leader Kylo Ren. I can beat Lord Vader with Supreme Leader Kylo Ren when there's no crazy Datacron. I can beat so many teams. I love... We talked about ramping damage a minute ago. You can siphon so much damage with, with, uh, with Supreme Leader Kylo Ren. Right here, you see me using him with... Watt Tambor providing the, uh, the, uh, the the tank tech that gets rid of all the debuffs, which is necessary against Jedi Master Luke. You, know, you can't have the debuffs hanging out there. When we when I was able to do the heroic Sith raid with Supreme Leader Kylo Ren, I didn't think there was anything more fun in the game than doing the heroic Sith raid with, with soloing it with Kylo Ren, ramping up so much damage. I love, I love, I love, I love Supreme Leader Kylo Ren. He is my favorite character in the game. I'm so glad they made him. Now, look at this. Look at this. I'm down to almost no health. Now, Watt is definitely helping me out because I'm getting that protection in there. So, this is not a fur your first order team. This is Watt Tambor giving me the tank tech. Kylo with Watt is a great combo. Let's go ahead and listen to the rest of this battle here and see what happens. Turn. Okay. I don't think this is going to work still, but we got. We popped an ult. Okay. Got rid of Hoda. Little pause in the action. Hang on. I'm a little stressed down there, I think. I'm a little stressed down there. Oh, down there. Down there. Over there? Never know which way it is. I think this is going to work. Stab. Do a stab, man. Stack it up. Stack it up. What? Boy, you take your time, Nooch. Take your time. I'm still standing there. I I'm actually... I reading. need... I read the to... whole ability. All right. We'll swipe. We'll swipe. Okay, okay. I was wrong. Maybe okay. I'm wrong. Come on, man. Come on, man. Oh! 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 No! Stop! No! 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 English? You know, sometimes Come when you're on, having man. fun, English oh. is difficult. Oh! That's a big deal! Whoa! That's a big deal! That's a big deal! Boom! 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 Yes! 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 Oh! 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 You needed some. It's time for a dance party. It's time for a dance party. Okay, we went to a dance party. But you get it. Okay, there you go, boys and girls. That's my top 10 list right there for you, my favorite teams in Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. Again, we're just playing with toys. That's all we're doing. We're just kids playing with toys here in Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. And these are my 10 favorite toys to put together. Top teams. I'll probably come back with top characters with some similarities in there, but maybe I'll try and mix up. I don't know, but my 10 to favorite teams. Next time anybody asks me, I'm just going to give you a video link and we'll pump the views. I hope you have a great day. You're all wonderful people. I don't care what Deacon says about you. And of course, always remember. Oh, stay tuned, by the way. Stay tuned. Because I told you, you gotta you gotta watch me play with my toys here in a minute after the credits. No, it's too good. I am the scion of Django Fett, Bounty Hunter, Mandalorian, I'm Fat Boba, this is the way. Yes, I mean, what? What, what is, what is the way? Like, is that the way? Is that the, this, this is the way.
like, could you be, could you be more specific? Because I'm looking for my, my uniform, and I hear you have it, Mandalorian. So give me the uniform. This is the way. I'm a little confused. Is he, is he giving me the uniform? And what's with the, like, green helmet on the, I'm, I'm confused. I'm, oh, oh, Darth Vader, great. Uh, he, he's worth a lot to me. No disintegrations. Yes, I, I, I won't disintegrate. I, he's worth, he's worth a lot to me. See, that's what, it's, it's not an alive or dead thing. Did I tell you it's not alive or dead? It's, it's, it's I've got to, uh, let's go have dinner with them. Oh, yes, I think that's a great idea. Let's, let's go invite Han Solo and Leia and Chewie and that Lando fella. <laughs> we blackmailed him good. <laughs> and what's with your hell, green helmet? It's showing through. Anyway, uh, uh. Uh, no disintegrate. Yes, yes, I, I know. He's, in, he's worth a lot to me. Let's go have dinner with those guys. Yes, let's go have dinner. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Uh, well, we're going to be traveling, so how are you going to get his body back? So what do we take care of Han Solo? Uh, how do we get him back to, uh, to, to Jabba for you? I'll get him back to Tatooine on my fire spray starship. Fire spray starship? You don't have a name for your ship? Even I have a name for my ship. I call it the Padme. It's just... Nobody knows. <laughs> the Padme. Yes. She's hot. I, 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 I like her. I like her better than sand. <laughs> it's just... Uh, uh, what? I'm confused. I'm going to go get my Fire Spray Starship now. Fire Spray Starship, you need a name. You need a name for... Oh, that's frustrating. Wish you had a name for a ship. <laughs> Ooh. Seismic charges. I like that. That's cool. To, did you come up with a name for your star? Yes. Well, it's got a name. I just don't like to share it much. Oh, well, well share it with me, I think. No, it's, it's rather embarrassing. Oh, you won't be embarrassed, Scott. Share it with me. We're going to have dinner with Han Solo in a minute. How embarrassing is that? <laughs> it's stupid, Wookiee. <laughs> Did you know they built the Death Star? Well, it used to be that they built the Death Star, but it's no longer true that Wookiees built the Death Star. We don't, we don't know. Ah, uh, stupid Disney. Anyway, what, what's the name of your ship? Tell me. I'll be excited. All right. It's the Slave One. Oh, the Slave One! I hate you! I hate you! Oh! <laughs> Used to be a slave. All right. Um, <laughs> I think Darth Vader's going to be featured heavily. In <laughs> All right, now. We're here at target practice. Yes, yes, Lord Vader. Uh, uh, shoot that target. That one that's five meters away. Five meters. And... And six feet across, that one? Yes. Like a very close human. A very close, uh, like, like it's a rancor that's maybe 20 feet away, but it's a six foot away, 10 feet. It's a giant target. Shoot it. Yes, Lord Vader. Pew, pew. Pew, pew. Pew, pew. Uh, s sorry, Lord Vader. I gotta get me some better stormtroopers. <laughs> oh, great. Another Mandalorian. Uh, what, what are you doing here? Can you take Han Solo to Jabba the Hutt for me? This is the way. Okay, okay. I just... But... Can... can is that yes or no? I don't... I don't no, this is the way. I'm gonna force choke you, and you're gonna say something. If you don't say something, let me rephrase that. That doesn't make any sense. If you don't say something real, I'm going to going to force choke you. This is well. That was the way, I guess. 